Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Today is a very, very special day, especially if you've been following us along on our journey since we moved out to our property. Well, as many of y'all know, we used to have several uh, Marie's uh, with uh, random Oakey Farms ponies down at our property. Um, when we first moved out there, they sent us some goats and some ponies and we grew a really, really attached to them, um, especially the goats. Um, we used to have a very, very special pony that is called Cutie Pie. They was all getting ready to give birth and I did not want it to, we, we had already lost uh, a couple babies uh, with the goats when they was giving birth and mama pushed away. It's nothing that we did, just part of life. So I did not want to take a chance with the ponies. So I had um, Marie, we took all the ponies back up to Marie's. Um, Cutie Pie was pregnant for the first time. And this is what I got to show y'all guys. Cutie Pie has a beautiful, beautiful baby. So let's turn it around and let me show you. Cutie Pie, what are you doing, girl? Look at her baby. Isn't she so beautiful? Come here, Kitty Pie. What you doing? Everybody wants to see your baby. Yeah, everybody wants to see your baby, Kitty Pie. Yeah, you's a good girl. We miss her so much. Oh, there is the baby. Look at it. Now, we did get some rain today, so she is wet. I seen her this morning, and uh, she wasn't as wet. But look at her. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but that little pony is absolutely adorable, guys. Looky there. Cutie Pie Jr. Look at that little white nose. She is... Whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but it's so pretty. Cutie Pie, you did an amazing job. But um, anyways, I wanted to show y'all, everybody that followed our channel has always been asking about Cutie Pie's baby, which uh, Marie with Random Oaky Farms um, owns Cutie Pie, and uh, we was just actually barring animals to clean off our property and uh, it helped us both out uh, it was absolutely awesome learning everything uh, adorable i can remember uh, when we first come down here uh, she she was telling us that cutie pie had never had a baby and then we found out that she was pregnant Oh my, she was super excited. We was super excited, but I didn't want to leave her there and something happened. I didn't want to feel responsible, but Marie and them wouldn't have blamed us or anything like that. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. And um, I'm actually walking down here. I've got the product that just come in the mail. So I want to share that with y'all. And uh, as always, I will leave a link in the description box. And like I say before, guys, if it is a product I wouldn't wouldn't buy or I wouldn't use, I wouldn't share it with y'all. Um, I believe it's very important to keep a, be honest with our our YouTube and Facebook family. And um, I think on these uh, solar power uh, generators, I think it's very important to to share all of them with you. Um, this one I haven't used as much, but I'm going to demonstrate using it and showing you some of the features. Um, so I hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So we came back down to the farm and I'm going to share another product with you. This video is going to be sponsored by Ampace. And we're going to demonstrate some of the things that we use it for around the farm. And then we're going to tell you some of the things we use. It's so all the ball games, auctions, anywhere it is absolutely awesome to keep with to keep your kids occupied especially the ipads tablets or whatever phone chargers we use them too so one thing this is a uh, 600 watt this is ampace p600 and uh, it's very lightweight if my kids were here right now they're in school but if they were here 
I can guarantee you my youngest little girl could carry this anywhere on the farm and she's five years old. So one thing that we use here on the farm is the electric bicycles and we use them when we go on, on trips and stuff. And not all the time you do have electric with you, especially when you're out hunting or if you're camping. So you can use the solar power generator for those as well. We'll set the amp pace right there. So um, we'll go ahead and plug in this electric bike. And on the front, it's kind of hard to see in the uh, uh, shadow, but we'll plug it in. And here in just a little bit, I'll take you back inside and we, I will go over some of it. So to actually turn this on, it's 98%. Um, turn it on, you push the AC and it will actually start charging it. You can hear it kick on. So now it's actually pulling. It's actually pulling about 103 watts right now. And if we was to leave this hooked up to this bicycle, it would charge for 4.4 hours. Um, and you can hook several things up to this at one time. Um, for instance, we're going to be cleaning out the, the building here in just a little bit. We got a blower that once we light, light it on fire and burn all the old hay, we'll use this blower to control the fire. So if we're going to do that, we're going to want to hook up and have batteries, battery life. So while we're talking to demonstrate, and I'm going to go ahead and start charging this. Thanks to William for letting us uh, borrow the um, actual, uh, his blow leaf blower. And some of the attachments that actually came with it, um, there are several attachments that will come with it if you choose to order it. But what we got with this is um, basically uh, just what you, to plug it up and ch charge it into the wall. And then you can also charge it inside your vehicle if you're traveling or whatever, which that's what we do in between trips. We'll just keep it because not all the time we make it back in the shop to actually get it charged so we can actually charge it on the way. Um, if you want to actually charge your phone, and I'll go over all the ports here in just a second, you can charge your phone. You can charge up to 11 items on this device at one time. Um, same thing, once you plug it in, you need to hit your on button at the very top and it starts charging. As you see, it just came on. Um, like I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down inside the shop and explain a little bit better, but um, kind of go over with it out here is you got your LED light. It's got five different settings on it. Um, I'll just do that inside. Um, you can actually um, use this as a jump start as well. I don't have the actual cables to, to use it for a jump start, but this would be perfect for all the little four wheelers we have around here that we're always having to jump start. Always keep them to the side and the kids could jump start them themselves. Um, same thing, this is where you're going to hook in a extra uh, battery external pack. Um, this is, you're going to get two AC uh, outlets that you can actually hook up. And then you got your cigarette lighter, your DC output, and this is where your input is, where you're going to actually charge the device. And you got um, two USB one output and then you got one USB output as well as one USB-C uh, 60 watt. And like I said, once we get back inside, I'll go over more of that and explain that to you, but we're going to go ahead and take this and go inside and show you what we use it for on the inside too. So I know it's really dark inside here, but um, we do have babies during the night and like for now we've got a, a long extension cord that we run out here um, but if for some reason we didn't have enough extension cords, we could actually br bring this out here. It's already turned on, plug it in and it runs. Let me uh, go ahead and take this one. We can plug it in as well. So right now it is actually running four heat lamps. It, this right here will operate all the lights inside here for the baby goats. And it's saying with the, it's running 618 watts right now. So that's a little bit over what, than what it shows. But if I left this in here, it'll go for 0 0.8 hours. Um, like I say, this would be something uh, if a, a goat or whatever was having problems and we didn't have access to uh, the electric or um, like this winter, 
we didn't have enough of um, um, extension cords. So this would have worked out perfectly. Another thing that we could, we actually uh, used these four before in the past, like I say, we've worked with several different companies. You can't have enough of these solar power generators. Um, and I will show you, we will hop on the side by side and I'm gonna take you and show you exactly what we used this one of these for last year. So as, as most uh, fathers know, if you know, you take your kids hunting, it's hard to keep them still um, and keep their attention onto the hunting, especially when it's not um, daytime yet. So this is one of the things that I actually used to um, keep our kids um, occupied while we was hunting. I said earlier when we take the kids hunting, we use this to occupy them until daylight, until they get into uh, being able to look for deer. Um, this one here actually has two USB uh, ports that we can actually uh, plug in for the phone or if you have a uh, actual USB-C port I don't have one of those so uh, you could use that as well but we would always set them right here and I can use this to charge it uh, charge my battery but I'm going to show you another thing you can use but we always left ours here we would take a uh, once we got done hunting, we would actually um, uh, turn it off and leave it here until the next morning. But if you wanted to bring it down here, you could actually use this for light. This actually has five settings for the lights. You got turn it on one, gets a little brighter two, real bright three, strobe four, and number five is the slow, slow strobe, and number six you can turn it off. Like I say, guys, if you have never used a solar power generator you don't know what you're missing um, the way the world is today everything uses um, batteries or use a plug electricity and stuff it's kind of hard. the raccoon that we did not expect to catch that raccoon that is a like a uh, almost a white they called the last one we got was a cinnamon they said it was fairly rare like one in a thousand well that's only been like a three three weeks ago so um, that's crazy this one's a lot wider than the other one but um like I say you can use this thing for so many uh, things like the kids has got four wheelers they got those little bitty batteries on them we're always having to pull up a car to actually um, jump start them if we had the cables we could definitely just keep one in the side by side because most of the time when they break down, we'd have to stroll it all the way back to the house to where the vehicle was. But we will be ordering a set of the, um, the actual jumper cables and then also getting a, a deal of the uh, solar panels to actually keep them charged. If you did that, you could set your solar panels right outside here and you never have to move it. So anyways, this is our demonstration of it. Like I say, these things are great, taking them to ball games or auctions or whatever you choose. So now I'm going to explain some of the uh, key factors to them. It is a 600 watt uh, solar power generator. Uh, today, all we have is actually the actual uh, solar power generator. We do not have the solar panels or anything like that, extension batteries or uh, expansion batteries, whatever you want to call them. Um, here in a second, we're going to go down. I'm going to explain everything to you and uh, kind of go over some of the key points. Uh, what I like about this one uh, compared to the other ones that we've used. And um, like I say is earlier, if this wasn't a product that we wouldn't stand behind or we wouldn't buy ourselves, we wouldn't be sharing it with y'all today. So what we're going to go over first is some of the functions here. This top piece here is your LED light. It's going to have five settings. You're going to have your basic when it turns on. Um, punch it again, it's going to be a little brighter. Punch it the third time, it's going to be bright, bright. And the fourth time is going to be the strobe. And fifth time is slow strobe. And then the uh, sixth time, it will go off. So moving on over here, uh, this uh, right here is going to be your jump start. Um, to actually uh, jump start your uh, vehicle with the adapters. Um, we should have these back here in the back. Just see it just a second. Um, and then the second part here is going to be your uh, expansion battery. Um, to If you want to hook up another uh, battery pack to it. 
Down here on the bottom here is going to be your AC output. You're going to have two AC outputs. Moving over here on the other side is going to be your car outlet. It's the DC5521 out, uh, yeah, DC5521 output. Um, these little, uh, where you can plug into. You're going to have two of them there. Uh, moving on uh, right here at the bottom. And here in a second, I'll show you how we can turn activate all these. Your first one's going to be your uh, USB-C. It's a 60 watt. Um, the second one is going to be your USB uh, output. And you're going to have two of those at the very top of uh, the screen here. And then the last one on the bottom is going to be your USB uh, 2 output. Um, one thing I, I reading over this and, and watching it when we charged it, it if you plug it in um, with your wall charger to come with a wall charger uh, it takes about six and a half hours to charge fully charge um, if you're going to use the solar panel I believe they say it takes about eight and a half hours just depends on where you actually set the solar panels to be in direct sunlight or uh, whatever you choose. To actually uh, turn each one of these uh, devices on, it's got a button here at the top. You'll push it and it actually turn them on. This portable uh, power station is lightweight. You can store it anywhere in your car. It doesn't matter what you got in your trunk. It, you can fit it just about anywhere, but mine will be in a back seat with the kids so they can charge, <coughs> excuse me, so, so they can charge their iPhones, uh, their tablets or whatever they're playing on. One thing I want to put out here is these batteries are very safe and suitable for operation under harsh and high temperatures. Um, they are much lighter than uh, other batteries and they are better suitable for port, uh, portable uh, applications. Um, supported up 2,000 charges at 70% deep charge and costs less than 25 cents if you charge once a day. Um, like I was uh, telling you earlier, um, definitely if you're in, in if you're looking for one or you're interested in one or thinking about it, click on the link down below. Go go check it out. Read up on it. Like I said, guys, if this wasn't a product, I wouldn't buy myself or use it. I wouldn't be sharing it with you. So going on to this, um, this will manually shut down itself. Manually turns off. All outputs, the display will stop showing the DC uh, Type C USB AC screen. Um, dim after about 30 seconds uh, if the product's not actually being used. And uh, the product will shut down after 60 seconds if there's no, no activity moving or anything on. Automatic shutdown, regardless of whether there is an electric appliance connected the product will remain on for six hours every time after startup. In order to ensure the low power electric appliance can be fully charged, after six hours, the product will continue to operate if it detects that there is a load otherwise. It will automatically shut down. That's also good for a automatic shutdown because um, we've had one in the past that we actually take to the deer stand with us or deer blind. Um, so when you take the kids, you can hook up their phone and let them play on it or whatever they want while they're sitting there waiting uh, to keep them quiet. You put them some earphones in, perfectly works out great. Overload shutdown. If output port is overloaded, the product will shut down and can only be rebooted after removing the overload. So if you plug something up and it does shut down, that means it's overloaded. And the only way this is going to reset is if you actually unplug the overload and then it will reboot itself. Um, low battery shutdown, the product will shut down when uh, remaining battery capacity is too low. Uh, please charge the product in a timely manner. So anyways, um, if you've ever used a solar power generator, please leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about them. If you've worked, if you've actually worked one of these uh, with Ampace, please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, we always like listening to each and every one of y'all because if it wasn't for y'all watching our, our content, we wouldn't be allowed to do a lot of the stuff we do on our farm. Hope you go check it out. And let me know what you think about it. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Oh, look at all those eggs. Eat. 
No, them ain't it. But look at all these eggs Marie's got. Random Oaky Farm is a hatching farm. You remember which incubator we put them in? Yep, this one. Oh, that one there? Oh, the big ones. They're the big ones, ain't they? Oh, that your eggs ain't there no more. They must not be good. They're gone. No. They're in that one room where we've been. Oh. You like it. Let's, okay, let's, let's go do. see. Yeah, let's go. Follow me, follow me. Yeah, follow me. Easy, easy. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, but they ain't here. They must not hatch. Well, we'll get we'll get some next time that would be good. New hatching. Huh? Wait, I think we forgot one place. I think, Dad. Well, let's go out and grow it to see if there's some. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bunch. There's like, a bunch. Yeah, the yeah, ducks. Do I ran and showed me a lot of baby chickens. Oh, he did. And, and ducks. And ducks. Baby ducks. Oh, let's go see. Look here. Do you know there's one out here? Did you drop it? <gasps> it was right by the washer. I <laughs> 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 just took them. You want to see when we took them out of the hatcher? You want to see where we put your other chicks? Yeah. Aren't they Let's cool? go see how many you got. There's a couple. I think there's three. Some quail that are in here with these guys, but we had them separated. Oh, my. Wow. <laughs> Look at them. Isn't that adorable? You want to hold it? Yes. Here it is. You want to see if you can make it sleep? Yeah. Okay. So, you get your hands warm. You want to hold it for a second, Raven? Get your hands warm. Do they feel warm? Do your hands feel warm? Okay. Oh, my hands feel hot. And then you take the chick and that heat. Relaxes them. You see, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. See, he just pass out. He just passes right out. So okay, so let me see him. There he is. There. And you get him all nice and toasty for your mom. It's sweet. Oh, wow. Isn't that fun? Isn't that cool? You got some really nice. Chickens. We don't. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. One. Is that the blue one? Yeah. I think that is the blue one. I, so different chicken breeds have different colored chicks. So a lot of these, I'm like, yeah, put it down. Put it down. Look at there, Casey. That's I think what came out of that pretty egg. See the beard? That pretty blue one. Yeah. You want to hold it? Yeah. Oh, I was talking about. That yeah. came out of the really pretty egg. Oh, Isn't that, that is so awesome? Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. You like him? You want to try and put one to sleep? Yes. Okay, so it has to do with the temperature in your hands. Did you warm your hands up? They, let here, let me hold them and you can warm your hands up. If your hands are cold, they won't, they won't relax. Yeah, they, you can do it with those too. Warm your hands up. Okay, and then you're see how you're cupping them like that? Mm -hmm. And you're getting hey, comfortable. Hey, okay. Yeah, we've been going to sleep. <laughs> see, look at him. His eyes are already closed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, not these. Oh, yeah, so the, the chickens, they'll get after you because we give them uh, mealworms. You want to see? I'm going to try to fly. Oh, no, no. Let's see. Let's see. You want to give? Oh, is this the one you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you want to give some to them? I didn't raise mealworms. They're pretty easy. You just um, carrots and uh, chickpea. Okay, so like watch this chicken. Watch this chicken. Yeah. So you get a new worm. And they will. You want to try it with your chicks? Yeah. Okay. I like to your chicks. Hey, y'all, y'all, girls, back up. Look at that little. They kind of jump. See, they're alive. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look at that.
They don't hurt you though. These aren't super worms. Yeah, I'll do mine. You want to do your chicks? Yeah. Okay, we can do your chicks. Oh my gosh. That is a showgirl. Mm -hmm. Come on. A showgirl frizzle. Yeah. 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 Oh, did you see robot chicken? Uh-uh. Okay, robot chicken is... <laughs> it's one of our extra chickens. So the American breast chicks, there's... It's just no. Mm -hmm. That one just took off. Oh, that one just took on a little baby. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, the, the big guy. Yeah. Look at that. This is robot chicken. Oh. You yeah. Oh. Huh? What? Why is it called robot chicken? Can you see its eyeballs? Yeah. Yeah, because it's robot Just because chicken. it looks like a robot? Mm -hmm. I was going with side one. Yeah, so I wanted to show this little guy off here. This was one of the blue eggs. Uh, if y'all remember, I'll see if I can find some of that video footage of Kaysen loving those blue eggs. And uh, this one actually hatched. And uh, Marie um, with Random Moki Farms helped me catch this one hatching. We actually have a time lapse of this baby bird hatching. And if I can find the video, I'll put it all in here. It's absolutely awesome. But Callie, we want to thank you and your children for sending these uh, eggs to Kaysen. Um, there was several of them that hatched and Marie's also throwing in some uh, babies as well. What do you got there? It's a sleeve. It's a sleeve? No, I'm gonna put it back to bed. Oh, you gonna put it back to bed? But um, yeah, we're just super uh, thankful for the eggs and, and we want to thank Marie for hatching them for us. Um, and she helped with the time lapse. She left her phone in there and actually caught it. It's pretty cool. We'll have to show it. But um, we're going to leave them down here for just a little bit longer until we get a little brood pen set up. And then Kaysen will get to bring them home. And then he will get to take care of them. Son, come here and look at your blue egg. I'm about to go get one. Look at your blue egg. Look at your blue egg. Excited when he saw those blue eggs. I like fingers crossed the whole time that those blue eggs were hatched. Yeah. You gonna put it to sleep? Let it back up. Let it back up this and look. Take that. You can see. I'm crazy. Oh, your hands are busy. Like her hands, like just barely touching. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And it just, it puts them right to sleep. So the chicken sleeping thing, if it's not, if your hands aren't warm enough, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Oh, my God. Look at yours. Oh, look. We're a natural. Yeah, look at it. There's a little coil. Oh it's a girl goodness. thing. It is a girl thing. It's a girl thing. thing. <laughs> they are so cute, ain't they? Oh, right, guys, so like I said, we brought Kaysen up here to let him see his baby chickens. He was asking about them earlier, and uh, they're they're actually a day and a half old or a little bit older now, but um, he's super excited. Like I said earlier, we will build him a little pen, and then we'll actually... Uh, let him take care of them and, and let them grow with him. Um, it's so awesome. It is awesome to watch him be so excited about them. But while I'm standing over here, look at Porcupine. What have you done? She says, I'm in for the night. You're done for the night. Yeah, she'll go back out tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. 
So um, if you don't know much about it, there's certain temperatures that the porky tines and the turtles actually um, can go outside. So uh, Marie and William, they actually bring these guys in at nighttime and then they put them back out at, during the day. Um, this turtle is nothing like the turtle that I interacted with the other day. <laughs> he is uh, a lot friendlier. Uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome to watch them walk around the yard. He got it. Mm -hmm. now, oh, he got it? Oh, wow. That's awesome. So it's not just a girl thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Probably too many. <laughs> Look at that big baby. Look at that haircut. Yeah. You want to pet it? Mm -hmm. She's not getting pokey. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. She's only pokey if you touch it at the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. Which one did you touch the wrong spot? You can get down to that one. Them things there that <laughs> fell out? Yeah. She won't hurt you. She won't hurt you. She won't hurt you. She is so friendly. My chicken is awake. He's like, I'm scared. I'm awake. <laughs> Sleeping. Mm -hmm. Go. Poke it. Poke it. I poke it. It's a finger. If you run, it's going to chase you. Yeah, it's a game. It's a game. Mm -hmm. That's our favorite <laughs> game to play. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So, Casey's uh, over here trying to put the babies to sleep again. What, what do you want to say to Marie for hatching your chicken? Thank you. You are welcome. That's right. So, Marie is the chicken hatcher around here. Everybody around here has got eggs. They bring them to Marie. Um, she actually just out, hatched out like over a hundred quail for a, one of the neighbors about four or five miles away. Um, that's how me and Marie actually met was hatching that quail. And hopefully one day I'll get quail back again. But um, yeah, don't, don't, don't listen to her. But. Don't worry, I got some cell on in there. We, we got you. We got a cover right here. But um, Anyways, guys, we want to thank each and every one of y'all for being a part of our family and following our journey and, and just watching the excitement from the kids, from the animals. The, the chickens have done so much for Kaysen, and uh, we love each and every one of y'all's comments. But now, we're going to go back down to the house. If you're new to the channel, we're going to show you the tiny cabin that we just finished getting it insulated, and maybe we can get the washer and dryer in so Steph can get back to... Uh, washing some clothes at the house or whatever and uh, we still got the shower so we're going to go ahead and head down to the house and try to start some of that so follow us along Come what on. a mess it is a mess and that's the deal is we stacked this up neatly and we have been in this thing so much when we first moved here just getting things out so there is a mess we i can't wait until we out. yeah i can't wait until we get everything out and get to go back through it and find everything again so there's Layton's bed so 
this air washer and dryer, we've had this for several, several years. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. Oh, I think we got this from our aunt. Uh, and I like these old school washer and dryers a lot better than some of the new ones. I'm not a big fan of the front faced ones. I like the top faced. You gonna do the top oh, now? Yeah. Got light. It just amazes me how the insulation changed the sound of everything. The washer that go right over here in the corner. So, um, you need to kick me again. What? Laundry. Oh. The hot is what I'm tightening up now. Oh. Cold on top, warm on bottom. Yeah. And then right over here, you got, you got two little, uh, drain deals. You got oh. one there and one there. I don't remember which one your daddy put it in. Or did he put it in both? Let me put it in this one right here. So now we need to get a screwdriver. What's the I forgot about that one. All right. There should be. We'll put this in there until we get our sheetrock up. And would that go around it? Uh, the sheetrock will... Uh, go around it come up here and then that is butt up against it mm -hmm. but for now it'll work on this one do we just have to hook it up yeah. okay. we got to get the vent out here what i'm looking at here is where i've got to put the wall a but i think mm. it'll be a tight squeeze but you could center it up with the window what the wall mm-hmm I mean, like, not center it up. I'm talking about go right here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll have to do that. I can still push this over more. All right, so we got everything hooked up. Steph's been begging and begging for a washer, so I guess we'll let her have the honors and see if it works. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go. See if she still knows how. I know how to work this thing. Wow. We still may have to, we still may have to um, turn the heat up a little bit, but right now we're just trying to test everything out and. Uh, we'll run, run it through and I'll probably put the bleach in actually and run it through before well, I, I put it on cold. I'll put it on hot and see what happens. You should actually put it on. Watch it. You can see it. how hot it is. Yeah. Don't touch it. <laughs> I already touched it. Is it hot? Oh. It is if you keep your hand under there. Yeah, I is it? I yeah. went. <laughs> hot water. That's awesome. I don't do a lot of hot though. Like, I will actually probably have warm cold. Because that washes it in warm, but it rinses it in cold, and that's how I like it. Well, that is awesome. I'm excited. Now I have to buy some bleach, though, because since we have been actually doing laundry at the laundromat or at Marie's house or at um, my yeah Brooke, Uncle Cody and Aunt Brooke's house, 
I haven't been bleaching stuff. I just didn't want to have to, you know, you do smaller loads. So I've just been kind of throwing all the whites in with the colors and just cleaning it like that. But now I got my own so I can get me some bleach going. That's awesome. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the night. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll have to do that. I've got to run a vent over there on the side. Well, we got to put a whole new thing on, too. No, we don't. We, d we didn't go that route. That's the same one. But, um, um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for tonight. We want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome to our family. Please leave us a comment down below so we can get to know your icon and your name. And thank y'all so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. God bless.